anytime I'd lay down, they would just ache. And I'd get up and take three or four Tylenol at least twice a night, if not more. You sort of have a two-layer cake. You have something going on that makes the nerves abnormal, and then as a result of that, secondarily, the nerves become pinched or compressed. And it's that pressure on the nerve that very often is what's causing the clinical symptoms that everybody just writes off as due to the underlying neuropathy process. He was very reassuring, very comfortable. He did, a, you know, an examination. He said, "I can help you." You know, uh, what do you think? And I said, "Let's go for it." Now, he, I wanted him to do both legs at once. I thought it would. He said, "No, just one." I have no pain. I have no cramps anymore. My feet don't burn. My optimism on life is great. I mean, when you reach my age, you think, oh, another thing, you're going old, you're gonna just end up in a nursing home. I don't have that anymore. I go to the gym, I golf, we travel, and I don't have to worry about leg aches anymore. You know, it's just all around great. In Karen's case, I examined her, she showed classic signs of nerve compression. A patient who was told they had peripheral neuropathy and there's nothing you could do about it, she underwent surgery, we decompressed the nerves to the, to the bottom of the foot and she's basically better, all the pain is gone.